Overall, it was a pretty good weekend of eBay sales. If we pull the numbers up to give you a look at what took place, I sold 18 items, but it was $946 worth of revenue. You take out the fees, the post, the cost of goods. Guys, it was a $468 profit weekend. That works out to $53 per item, which means this what sold episode is gonna be really beneficial for you to find these great items yourself and hopefully go on to make the same kind of profit. I also wanna take you through a reseller secret tool that I use on a daily basis when I'm outsourcing to guarantee profit every single time. Can't wait to bring you that, stick around for it. And then we're also gonna do some thrifting as well. And I can I can pretty much guarantee that we're gonna find some banging items because it's very rare that I put a video out without at least one or two good items in there. So fun episode ahead guys, thanks for being here. Let's go jump into the items that stole. We'll start with the DVDs. Well, guys, it was a pretty dismal weekend in the media category. We've only had the two sales come through, but this one here was an absolute ripper. We've got volumes three, four, and five of Mortal Kombat Defenders of the Realm. This one's actually gone on to sell for 60 bucks, and I only bought it for $3, a dollar a piece in a flea market. So definitely a big bolo DVD for you guys to be looking out for. That was a ripper. And then I've also got this one here as well, East of Eden, really good TV show. That one sold for $14 and 50 cents. So guys, pretty short and sharp, about 75 bucks in the two DVDs. As for the clothing section, we had a total of two sales come through. This was the first one. It was a Columbia, uh, just a size youth as well, which is not something I usually pick up. A very small kid's jacket, size 10 to 12, but we got a really quick turnaround. Just a couple of weeks on this. I only paid $5 for it in an op shop, and I ended up selling it for 40 bucks. So. Fingers crossed I could squeeze this into a small satchel. It should be right. Uh, so $7.50 postage, a $40 sale price. Not too bad. The other one as well, which was an absolute cracker, guys. You guessed it. It's another sports jersey. I just sell so many of these. Love picking these up in the thrift. I only paid $4 for this thing, and it's ended up going on to sell for $65 plus $20 worth of postage off to the UK. So this was a really good one. It's a size medium. The Travelex sponsorship allowed me to know that it was a vintage jersey. So I knew that it would go for some good money. 65 bucks, that was a great result. Now guys, if you've been watching my flea market videos, you may have remembered a few weeks back, I bought this big bag of action figures. I paid $20 for them all, and uh, I didn't know too much about them. In the end, I've realized it's actually Cayman Rider, uh, basically a Japanese equivalent of Power Rangers. And I'm selling them individually on eBay at the moment, and we've just had a sale come through, which is this one right here. Ended up selling for $17 plus $20 worth of international postage. And that sale right there pretty much pays for the entire bag of action figures. So it gives me a bit of motivation to go ahead and jump into this bag and see what else I can uncover. Um, so that was a cool little grab in the flea. I also had another sale come through in the toy section. This is actually Extreme Dinosaurs, a vintage toy that I've got from uh, Danny from Gold Coast Picker. Ended up selling for 30 bucks and it should cost me $7.50 to ship off. Uh, so it should be a $22.50 sale price. So almost $40 worth of value in two toys and a whole lot more to go. So here's a couple of random items that have sold over the weekend as well. We've got a Wii Component AV cable. It's brand new and sealed, which is why I wanted to go ahead and pick it up. I actually only just bought this on Saturday and I paid $5 for it. And I ended up getting a really quick turnaround of just two hours, guys. Uh, it sold for 25 bucks, which makes me think that I probably could have got a few more dollars for it. I love quick sales, but I don't like them that quick. Two hours was super fast. Um, so anyway, brand new and sealed, this AV cable for 25. It's okay, I've made a few dollars in a pretty quick space of time. The other one as well, took a few months to sell, but it was a Samsung Gear VR uh, virtual reality headset. So um, I liked it in the sense that it was pretty much, it looked like it was brand new, it didn't look like it had been used too many times and it did have a box. So some real benefits to going ahead and picking this one up for $10 in a local thrift store. I got a turnaround of a $35 sale price for this one here. So again, a bit like the AV cable, I'm not making too much money, but a relatively quick turnaround and it's put some dollars into my pocket. Now guys, here's a really unorganized look at my book system. There's absolutely no method to this madness because I've pretty much given up on the category as most of you would know. Having said that though, we have had two sales come through over the weekend. This first one, The Philosophy of Martin Scorsese. I bought this over a year ago in a thrift store for $2 and we actually ended up getting a $29.99 sale price. So it took a while to sell, but in the end, we got a good dollar for it. The other one as well was this one. Now, I actually picked this one up a few weeks ago. I couldn't resist it. The Famous Five, a really good book series to be looking out for. Now, there's actually book numbers two and five missing 
out of this 21 book collection. So it is incomplete. I did obviously mention that in the listing, but we got a $70 sale price for this set. And it's also the buyer has paid $50 to have it shipped off to New Zealand. Now I think it might cost about $35 to $40 with the discount that I'll get for it. So that means this book set has sold for about $80 to $85. You'll get over $100 for it if you have the complete set. So definitely a big book series to be looking out for guys. Book sets do do well, but the only thing is they might take a while to sell. No surprises to see that the majority of the sales that came through this weekend came in the shoe section. We had six sales come through, $345 in revenue. It works out to $57.50 per shoe. The first one I've got for you here is a pair of Asics Gel Pulse 8. These are a pair of women's running shoes, pretty stock standard. We've got a $40 sale price on these ones here. This one I actually just bought off Thriftgo. Um, Matt, that I bought at a flea market, um, pretty much after the flea market, I went over to his place, bought a number of shoes for 10 bucks a piece. Um, ended up getting these ones sold for $40 plus 25 bucks worth of international postage off to the USA. So really cool pair of Nike SBs, a good one for you guys to be looking out for. Um, not bad off a $10 purchase. These ones here as well, really funky pair of uh, old school Reebok vintage hiking shoes. US size nine, like the look of them in the thrift. Haven't seen too many of these before. Uh, we got a $50 sale price on those there, which I thought was a pretty good turnaround. I think I paid $10 for those ones as well. Um, guys, you might have remembered out of Thursday's trip to the thrift episode, the Tiger Oni Sukas. I bought these uh, in an op shop for $7.50. And we got a turnaround even without any insoles uh, for 50 bucks. So 750 into 50, the Tiger Onisuka Asics are a good one to be finding. They just seem to move quick every time I find them, albeit I don't find too many of them. Um, this one as well, I think I might have even bought these off Matt um, Thrift Goat as well. Can't exactly remember. If so, I would have paid $10 for these. The Pegasus, a really good version of the Nike running shoe to find. These are the Pegasus 36s. I took a best offer on these for 50 bucks. I reckon I could have got about 60 to 65 if I held out. Um, but we had a pretty slow sales weekend. So sometimes you've just got to take your best offers. And then the last one, the best of the bunch, we've got the Nike Element 87s. This was the big flea market shoe haul grab that I got a couple of weeks ago now. And I've done really well with the sales in this mix. Um, we've got these ones done for $90. And for good reason, they're in pretty much light new condition. They're a great shoe to be finding. Um, you can often get around hundred bucks. And it was nice to see they go, these go for close to that. So there you go, guys, $345 in sales. An average sale price of $57.50. This is why I keep trying to find my shoes. Also looked out a couple of pairs of jeans that we had sell. Haven't sold too many jeans over the last few weeks, so it was nice to see these ones move. I've got a pair of really nice super dry, vintage super dry jeans here. So uh, we ended up getting a $45 sale price on those, which I thought was pretty damn good. The other ones as well, a brand that I love to find in the jeans is the G-Star. I got a pretty low sale price on these, to be honest with you. These are the Revend Skinnies, 34 waist, 30 length. Uh, a really nice pair of men's jeans, but we only got an average sale price there of $40. So I would have liked to have got a few more bucks. It was a best offer that I accepted on these, but uh, look, nonetheless, guys, $85 in two pairs of jeans. Probably would have only paid about 20 bucks for them in the thrift. <laughs> Now guys, post is done, gym's out of the way, and uh, we're about to go and do some thrifting. I only had the 17 sales this weekend, so I do wanna try and get a few more by sourcing a few more items that I can list up on my store. And when it comes to sourcing, there is a secret weapon that I use every single time, and that is eProfit, the eProfit calculator, and it's specifically designed for people that sell on eBay, just like you and me. And really, all that I have to do is just plug in the details of what the item sold for and what the item was initially purchased for, and then it calculates all of the eBay specific numbers that you need to work out what your profit will be. Now, you could just go through the eBay sold comp search, but for me, I like to know exactly how much money I'm gonna get per item. So to put it to work, I'm gonna show you in this next thrift run that we go and do, exactly what I mean by the power of using this app on every single purchase that you're deliberating on. Let's jump in there and I'll show you what I mean. 
First item up, guys, I found a James Bond 007 Ultimate Collection of every single movie here. I had a look on eBay and we're talking about $100 worth of resale value. E-Profit at the $40 purchase price that it is in store. We're talking a $30 profit to be made. So look, a bit of a 50-50 on this one, but I just think it's an item that will go on to sell. So I've gone ahead and picked it up. I jumped into the shoe section, guys, and are you kidding me? We've got the LeBron James Witness 3 basketball shoes here. This is an unbelievable grab. Probably don't need the e-profit calculator on this one. However, to have a look at it, $65 is conservatively what I think I'll get for it. So we're talking about $30 to $35 worth of profit. Pretty damn good. Jumped into the uh, clothing section as well. And Supergiant, look, it is a good brand. I'm not doing clothing so much anymore. And, and this is probably the reason as to why. $25 purchase price. We're talking about $8 worth of profit. And it's probably going to be a long uh, sell-through rate. So I grabbed it, but it wasn't the best purchase based on e-profit. Katmandu, we've got a really nice jumper here. This one though was $20 in store. I think I can only get about $40 for it on eBay. So there it is right there, $6.58. I don't think that's enough profit for me at a $20 purchase price, so I left it behind. Now guys, some things don't need an e-profit calculator. These RM Williams pants for $3 is a perfect example of just going ahead and committing yourself to the purchase. So that was a really good grab there. Another one as well, Ping is a very good uh, golf brand and I've gone ahead and picked up these pants as well for just the three dollars so no need for the uh, e-profit they were just two very good grabs and finally this sex in the city box set i think we could turn into 60 and if that's the case i reckon we're going to be able to make about 16 profit so i took it oh guys it's always a good day when you nab a pair of bronze in the thrift the witness threes they should go on to sell for about 65 dollars Super stoked to pick them up for just the 15 bucks. So we've got six items so far. Hopefully you can see how the e-profit calculator is really working in our favor to help us determine what we should be buying, what we should be leaving behind. I'm halfway through, six items secured. I do want 15. So it means we've got another nine to get in this next store. So let's get in there and hopefully we can find it. Well, the shoe finds just keep coming my way. We've got the Nike Zoom Train Commands here. My size, US size 12. I do believe they will clean up to be in pretty good condition. We've got a $6 purchase price, a few comps over in America at $50. So I'm going to give it a shot for that here in Australia. Speaking of America, have a look at these. We've got the Yale University sweater here. This is a size extra small. It's just a $6 purchase price, but I like the tags. They seem genuine. They seem like they're actually an American uh, sweater, not just a, a cheap um, sort of replica that you'll often find over here in Australia. So that was a really cool little find there, and I think it should go on to sell well. Speaking of cool finds, have a look at this. We've got some Unreal video games in the video game section, which doesn't usually happen. I'll take you through a few of these. We've got Amped 3, and uh, that should go for about $17.50. I've also got Sega Mega Drive here. Um, that one, the Ultimate Collection, you can always rely on a fast $15 for that one. And then I've got Reflex as well, a motorcycle game. That goes for about $25 and then skate pretty stock standard $17 so these four games all complete with manuals I think they'll go on to sell for 75 and that's a pretty good buy <laughs> So it wasn't quite 15 items, but it was 12 items that I deemed to be really good. And it all comes down to using the eProfit app. It's something that I've always used, but I've never really harped on it in this YouTube channel before. So I figured today was a good chance for me to go through it with you guys. Hopefully it's something you can download. It's not a sponsored video by any means. It's just a tool that I use to make sure that I'm sourcing as best as I possibly can. The only question is now, how long will this stuff take to go on to sell? So fingers crossed, it can be a really short space of time. Hopefully they're desirable items that people are wanting out there. Uh, and I'm gonna get on board and list those up as of tomorrow. So appreciate you coming along for the ride with me today, guys. It was a bit of a post run and then it was going down and buying more items. And ultimately that's the game as a full-time reseller. You're just forever selling and forever buying new items. So appreciate you being here and being a part of the journey. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, it would be awesome if you could do so right now. If you've made it to this part of the video, clearly you love it. Um, so go ahead and hit the subscribe. It'd be great to catch you on board for future videos. Uh, and thanks for being here for my 30% clubbers that stick around to the end. You guys are the best. That'll do me for another Tuesday, guys. Uh, we'll see you on Thursday for a trip to the thrift week seven. We've got nine weeks to go after this week. It is closing in on this America trip. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we'll see you for that as well. Thanks, guys.